Songs for Dying and Songs for Living is um, an exhibition constructed from three different installations. Songs for Dying, a video installation. Songs for Living, another video installation. And If We Burn, You Burn With Us, um, a painting-based installation. The narrative for Songs for Dying is about the separation between the mind and the body, or in a way, the, the sky and the ground, through the medium of a series of songs. I was inspired by an experience of being with my grandfather at the last moment of his life in the hospital, and my aunt told me I should sing to him his favorite songs, because when you're losing consciousness, you can't really hear sentences, but you can only hear words. And in a way, songs um, put you into this comfortable emotional space. And then after, after he passed away, you know, the, the monks came and started uh, chanting to him. And I started thinking about the chants and the song as this method, the entire method of um, decreation and the separation between the what's left over of the body and in a way the mind or the spirit. Songs for Dying structures itself as a collage of footages that takes you to very different spaces. Um, a massacre in South Korea, uh, a current protest in Thailand, and a lot of many kind of dream-like storytelling spaces that I constructed. Whereas Songs for Living is actually constructed more like a music video. In Songs for Living, I wanted this blue void that's created to really feel like once you're sitting on these denim pillows, you're floating in the void. The video is colored warm, kind of like fire or kind of like flesh, or probably the color you would see if you were in a womb and you open your eyes. Songs for Living is a collaboration with Alex Kvoich, and it was mostly shot in New York City in this moment where COVID regulation was unlocking people coming back to the social space, coming back to the public space, and in a way, a reconfiguration of the known. The installation that we burn, you burn with us, is a painting made entirely out of bleached denim that's supposed to surround you into a circle of a gathering of bodies that transcends into a giant bird. The bird's like a very common symbol that's often used to stand in for a higher power. You can't really tell if the gathered bodies are dematerializing into this giant collective bird or if they're actually burning the bird. And this giant bird motif that's in the middle of the painting is actually all created out of like multiple hands. The painting goes through the process of being burned and almost becomes a stage for the fire to exist and perform and dance on. And this gets photographed from a bird's eye view, and then printed out to scale and laid behind the burnt painting. So in a way, the painting itself is about the mind or the spirit, mostly from the past, coming in contact with the flesh of the present, the leftover burnt denim, and creating in a way the encounter that we could call the now. <laughs>